Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jisud, I'm playing Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling. Last episode we made our way through most of the desert, if not the entire desert. And today we're going to go and continue exploring this town. Right. Hello. I've heard you saved my mates from some bandits. I'm bad at this, so I'll only say it once. Thank you. It was no problem. Now for a reward. There was nothing. We look forward to, uh, to buying from you in the future. Yeah, the tour, uh, with all the tourists coming back from the festival, business will be good. So, uh, dry bread. Oh boy. Oh, you're the bakery. Hey, hey, welcome to Krispies. You're the fine ones who took my request, right? What's up? Uh, we'll help you train, sure. So I had this idea for a dish. I'm gonna need a spud. Then I can make something really good. Um, probably. Of course you need a freaking spud. I saw a spud at some point. Not a bag of flour, not a cake. <laughs> Nutty cake! <sighs> of course you need a freaking spud. I know how to get it, but... Oh well. I see, you're card players, huh? You're cooking the upca uh, uh, upcake? <laughs> uptake. Have you heard of card masters? You're talking to the one and only. Uh, aren't there four? You ready for this? I have no plans to go easy on you. Bring it on. Feel the sting of a pro player. Uh, would you like to reuse? No. <laughs> no, I would not. I very much like Monsieur's Carlet, though. Ah, okay. Still don't know what that coin is. But I very much like these two. Okay. So I do have a couple of new things. Let me go and get a couple of uh, normal dudes over here. Some underlings. Some acornlings. Oh, wait. Well, these ones are more expensive, though. Let's go and get a couple of these going, and then a couple of these. Uh, and then it's probably... Let me go and get this one going, because lifesteal is nice. And let's go and get some wasp troopers and a wasp scout. Let's see how this is gonna go. <laughs> because that is all that I can do. This is gonna increase my defense, which is gonna decrease your attack, which means that you should normally not be able to damage me. I think. So let's go and give it a shot. Nice. There we go. Okay. Uh. I have three points left, so I could <laughs> I could just get more. I think I'm gonna do that because otherwise I'm not, I'm just gonna take damage. Wait, what? What happened? I did not see what happened. Let's go and get seedling, life steal, and defense up three. Nice. Okay. Let's go and just go all out in damage. Tidal Worm numbs all attackers. That is bullshit. Wow. That is absolute bullshit. Nice. It's my favorite type. Nice. Let's see. I have seven points, I can do this. I can do both of these then. More attack and then also more defense. Yeah, let's go into this. But I failed my defense thing. I see now. Okay, so it's a coin flip basically, if it happens. That's intriguing. All right. Eight points, which means that I can do all of these. Nice. Got the coin flip. And that gives me a victory and also a life steal. Good. <laughs> I'm starting to understand this game, finally. Right. And I guess I'm just gonna go and put all of these in. No, and no. Okay. That's kind of annoying, actually, the fact that there's a coin flip system. But at the same time, it does keep it, you know, interesting. I have 10 points. Um, I might as well just go and get everything in there. Nice. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. 
But it still isn't gonna do jack shit, because the Venus Spouts don't really do anything to me. Right, of course, plus three attack. Yeah, I just remembered that. I'm just gonna go all out there. Okay, nice. Okay. <laughs> Once again, gotta go all out. Tidal Worm, that is so stupid. That is so stupid. It just like numbs all attackers, you lose. Wow. <laughs> all defense, all day, baby. Wow. And they all fail. And that's me done. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try again because that was bullshit. Yes. I like this, uh... I like this thing. Okay. The coin flip is very... annoying. Uh... It is a little bit luck based though. Uh, ooh. I wanna hold on to this one then with the Venus but for later on. Uh let me go and get the fence going and then one of these boys. Yes! Okay. Now I could do Venus Guardian plus Venus's butt to win. But I kind of want to hold on to that one. So let's go and get Scarlet. Maybe? No. Hmm. I'm gonna just send that one out. And I didn't get it, so... I lose. Okay, so now there's a boss card in the thing. Which is all attackers when I use it. Uh... I'm gonna send this one out then. Yeah, because I do not want him to do that. There we go. Alright. Let's go and have ourselves some fun, shall we? Venus is bad, and then also one of these boys, just to, just to make sure that everything... Wow, that still isn't enough. Nice, there goes my strategy. Straight into the trash can with that one. Go into this one and hope that I get the thing. Nope, I don't because life hates me. And let's go and have some well, quote unquote fun. <laughs> God damn you! Now my question is, do I just suck at this game, or is this game a little bit unfair? Nope. <laughs> so... So it's two attack and then it's... Hmm. This is all I can do, really. And yeah, one more. I'm done. <sighs> so yes, it is bullshit. <laughs> nice. My favorite type of minigame. Well, bullshit is a little bit. I guess that's not particularly true. It is but a card game after all. I just suck at it and I don't really want to deal with it. <laughs> to be 100% honest with you guys, I do not want to deal with it. Let's see what this is going to do. Attack plus two, so... Yeah. Nothing. Let's 
going to get this one going. Attack four, so now I win at least once. He has a lot of attacking cards right now. So let's go and get the fence going and hope that this is going to work. No, and yes. So that's three, which is enough. To keep me alive. Okay. Let's go and get... Uh, we're gonna get this one going and then this one. Son of a bitch. What's the point even, really? What's the point of the defensive cards when it's just a coin flip if you actually get it? Nice. Let's go and get Wasp Trooper and her and hope that I can... Okay, thank you. There we go. Also gives me back one of my, uh, one of my HP points. Go and put all these boys in there. Nice. That's minus three, which is just enough. Good. Okay. Let's go and do the Venus butt strategy. Wow. <laughs> he was also pulling out all the stops over there. Interesting. That's four attack and then maybe defense. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> okay. And yeah. Nope, nope. And then I lose. I think that I might have too many defensive things. Yeah, I think I have too many defensive cards. Especially because of the entire... Yeah, that's... Yeah, I just have too many of those. Let's see how this is gonna go. This is basically my ultimate freaking pair over here. Nice! Okay. There we go. Managed to get one of my points back. I'm just gonna send all these offensive things in. Of course I'm missing out on one defense. <sighs> My god. Just keep going. And hope that I can get something. Which is gonna allow me to win. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this is what I mean with the luck thing because you never know which cards you're gonna get. I floss to a rookie! Your overconfidence was your defeat. I learned a strategy or two, I'll give you that. I say shall upgrade your cards on my jewelist honor. One suit card. <laughs> Excellent. Still three to go now. You still need to defeat the reigning masters, but they don't get any better than me really. Here's a good hint. Someone shy, but when challenged changes completely. It pains me to say there's no shortage of, chi of shyness in this kingdom. Thank you for your help, however. No problem, if you're up for another game, just say it, I'll give you a good fight. Hmm, anytime, Shay. Huh, <laughs> no. I would rather not. If I don't have to touch this card game, I will not touch this card game. Hmm, hello. Cuckoo, welcome to the Poison Emporium, your number one place to get exotic toxins. If you're interested in pain, get close to, uh, to its vessel and press A to call me. Hello there, lovelies. Welcome to my humble stall. Here I offer charms which can change how battles go on f uh, go on for you, for only a few berries. I have a different, uh, I have a few different charm types, which is how long their effects will last. The more they last, uh, uh, the more berries they cost, of course. Could interest you in any charms? What kind of charm would you be interested in? Cheapskate regular overcharm. <laughs> how do charms work? Simple. Once you once you're charmed, there's a random chance my magic will activate in battle. Depending on when it activates, different effects can happen. Like granting a boost of power when attacking or increasing your toughness before an enemy attack. Even recovering your HP or TP depending on what happens. Charms only last a few times however. Once they run out, you can just come back and re uh, reapply them to benefit again. 
The charm types only change how, uh, change how long they last, but buying in bulk can net you a nice discount. So might I interest you in any charms? You know it, yes. Over charm. Alright, let's, uh, let's start then. This can be very useful in Paper Mario also, so... There you go, now you're all charmed up. Who knows how it will help you out. I might even get you out of a pinch. Come back later when you, when you want more charms. Okay, can I sell? No, I cannot sell at your place. I do want to see if I can sell somewhere else though. Hello? Travelers are considered scars of battle on your being. Uh, well, not I only wish to help. I've got some powerful bears on me. Hmm, just how powerful. These bears can boost your combat abilities when eaten. You can't really share them, though. We will have to decide who eats which. Those sound quite helpful. Blah, knowing, this, knowing those merchants, it's gonna cost us as uh, a, a wing. You're not wrong, traveler. <laughs> Second HP boosting hard barrier right now, 100 berries. What? Just think of the HP, Vi. Or V. Just think of the 100 berries, Leaf. Uh, well, we'll come back when we decide it, sir. Won't take too long, who knows when they'll spoil. Yeah, I don't have money, so... <laughs> Can I sell at your place? We have some things to sell. Let's see. How much do I get for... A heart <laughs> One. Yes, please. Second and berries. Uh, five. Let's go and give you one of them. A Garrick mushroom. Hmm. Let's go and buy the spud that I needed. Danger spud. What are these things with poison? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I am having money issues. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, 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 welcome to Krispies. You're the fine ones that took my request, right? What's up? I'll help you train. Yes, this is perfect. I'll get right into it. Wish me luck. Hey, my flower really did a trick. Try it out. A hey, yam bread. As the name says, it's bread made with yam. Restores HHP to an ally. How's it look? Honestly, pretty good. Awesome, I'm ready to step it up a little, just a little. Let's see. Try to bring me a succulent berry. I'll try to make something super tasty. Do I have a succulent? Yes, I do. Yes, this is perfect. I'll get right into it. Wish me luck. So glad I was right. The succulent berry's real flavor comes out when you bake it. Succulent platter. This juicy platter is great to share uh, on a sunny day. Restores 2 HP to the part for 2 turns. I'm getting so much better. Alright, I can finally do it. The forbidden, the forbidden recipe. <laughs> First, I'm gonna need a spicy bomb to give the dish a really nice boom. A, a bomb? Then I'll bake it with an abomi a a bummy honey. I'm so excited. With an abomi honey? That plus a bomb? Are you sure? Very curious, but mostly worried. It's um, really risky, but the legend says it'll bring honey to a new level. I was really scared to try before, but I've trained so much, I think I can pull it off. Team, let's believe in Crispy. If you don't, why don't we take that mission? Or why do we take that mission? I mean, you're right, but... If it's forbidden, it's probably super delicious. Let's do this. Okay, jeez, we'll bring it. I've got a bad feeling, though. Oh, thank you so much. I won't disappoint you, I promise. Well, I don't have the money <laughs> to do this. <laughs> Bastard bandits. Can't forgive what they've done to her. If you see any, don't be merciful. <laughs> hiccups. I still feel like I'm gonna have hiccups. <laughs> hmm. Can't just leave the forts. How will I get that ore? Ho ho ho, check my mega claw out. Spiffy, ain't it? A new frontier of weaponry awaits by my claw. Okay. And this is the moment where I just ran out of money and can't really do anything. <laughs> because of the fact that I ran out of money. So let us go and make our way over to... Uh, over to the road that's going to lead me to the golden field something. I did spend a lot of money on other things, so it's not that big of a surprise that I ran out of money. So 
So they're still over here now. Where does this lead me? Um, to somewhere. <laughs> Anything back here? No. And then I cannot get over this thing, so. Hello. Ah, yes, walking money. <laughs> but of course. Also no commentary because <laughs> I find it a little bit difficult to commentate over RPG battles. That's usually a thing. It also totally depends on how much I'm supposed to concentrate on a lot of jazz. Because in certain RPGs it's just like, okay, I'm going through the motion of the menus, but in this particular game I need to actually pay attention to things. <laughs> because I need to perform action commands. Which I am not uh, that good at. <laughs> I do say so myself. <laughs> Hello, Prince Eddie. Nice. <laughs> I got something. Yes, more money. Ooh. It's probably with another one of these. Uh, no, it's with a bandit. Okay, that's also pretty dang good. Turn relay on V. And freeze the bugger. Haha, <laughs> now I know what's coming. <laughs> Hello. Attack up. From my beautiful charm. There's probably some pretty decent ways to grind money in this game, or berries. So I might need to go and do some research on that. Or I could do some research on that, let me say it like that. I remember the bandits being pretty dang good in the Paper Mario. Of course, the metal that I'm wearing right now doesn't really help, because if I'm strong enough, I don't do the fights, and then I don't get money from them. But at the same time, it also spares me the cost of healing. Uh, <laughs> I got a strong start metal. The equipped ally starts with a ba uh, starts battle with, a, with an extra turn, but their exhaustion ramps up quicker. Hmm, interesting. I cannot get that bush. There's probably something inside that bush, but I cannot get it. Let's see. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think I can cross this. I also just got an idea, actually. Why this road exists? Yeah. Because the factory was in this place, so... There we go. So now we have ourselves a way back. Let us actually go into the kingdom now, though. Do you sell metals? You do. Reduce an allies attack by one, but their attacks will steal life from enemies. Intriguing. Hello. So you've come back, V. On a mission, from what I can tell. Uh-huh. Get us up. Sure thing. Hop on, explorers. 
We're not done talking about your issues, V. We're just saving it for later. Drop it seriously, I don't want to talk about it. Look, V, even if you don't like them, it can't be that bad. Indeed, they'll protect you if they speak poorly of you. <laughs> That's not really going to happen, you know. Huh? So they don't tease you? Just, uh, a little bit. V, could it be that the Hive has done, done nothing to you? Nonsense. Why would she be so unwilling otherwise? He's right. I am? The Hive didn't do anything. I did. V, what did you do? My sister kept teasing me, okay? Saying Explorer is a job for other bugs. But it was too dangerous that it was too dangerous that I couldn't do it. So I really got mad and said a lot of mean stuff to her and ran off. I told my boss to shove it. I told the queen she had no idea what I'm capable of. V. So in this story, you're the mean one? Kinda. They had it coming though. That's great. <laughs> all you have to do all you have to do is say you're sorry and it'll get fixed. No way! Even if I was super mean, they still tease me all the time. I'm not gonna say sorry. Not even to your close sister, it's your family. She can say sorry first. I'm not gonna lose after making a big scene. Look, the mission's most important, okay? I don't want to talk about this stuff anymore. We're almost at the top. You're not off, you're not off the hook, V. Going down to the find route now. <laughs> Alright. Into the hive. Greetings, visitors. Please hold still as we scan for impurities. Uh, what? Huh. Huh? You saying we're not clean or something? It's not that. Mm, well, yes, okay. Alright, you've been cleared to pass. Yeah, probably has something to do with me. Goodness, what a grand welcome. Fee, is this normal? Uh, not really. Hold it, folks. Oh. The scanner picked up something weird from one of you. What? Was it us? Most definitely. Is Leaf okay? Dearie me, we've caused a scene. Well, could you come with me? I'll check it out ASAP. You sure you want to trust her, Leaf? Yeah, uh... <laughs> These voices. I also never know when they're male or female. Yeah, well, we don't have any leads right now. Nothing to lose. Got the way, Doctor. So that's what the readings meant. Doctor, is leave okay? According to the test, the ancient crystal fragments lie within you. If I'm not wrong, you can use magic? Yeah. After we woke, from, uh, woke up in Snake Mouth, it just suddenly came to us. So that wasn't a super bad lie? You're still doubted us? Given the weirdness of it, I'd tally it to healthy skepticism. Magical powers are a common side effect of a body being linked to these crystals. Although there's still something our scanner couldn't identify, something else may be inside your body. Something else? If you'd let me put you under for a while, I could look into it. Uh, put us under? You know, fast asleep. Then we explore your insides after cutting- What? If you had this sort of power? No, it's weird. We just moved on our own. Sorry, we don't know what happened. We're not too keen to be put under, however. An involuntary self-defense mechanism. Leaf, was it? Give it some thought. Your condition is fascinating. I'm starting to get worried. Don't be. We feel fine. We're getting close to the truth, although there's much left to answer. Well, I think we'll leave it at that for today. Sorry for distressing you. It's okay, really. Thanks. Well, we're gonna be late for the meeting, aren't we? Ah, yes, the Ant Kingdom brought the materials for the key replacement, right? I've heard there's four other explorers looking around the hive. Could you round them up in front of the throne room? I'll meet you there when I finish some things up. Crow. Kick out me, Doctor. <laughs> right of the data, we have work to do. Ah, y yes, Doctor. Great. A walk around the hive. Can be, uh, can be the worst thing. We'd like to get to know the place. Leaf can now use bubble shield, light, in battle. E your card players? <laughs> oh no. 
Yes, you know any card masters? Well, I'm a bit busy. I, I can help you find them later. Hello. Invalid user access to door. Hello. Should be around the hive somewhere, yep. Detector, a metal, a metal made by Dr. HP. <laughs> Beeps if there are interesting objects nearby. Whoa, that metal looks cool. Let's snatch it. No, let's see if we can convince HB to give it to us somehow. No? Spy Specs, a metal made from Dr. HB, allows the party to see enemy HP without spying, and spying won't spend a turn. Wow, that metal looks cool! Let's snatch it. No, let's see if we can convince HB to give it to us somehow. Uh, I love the fact that Leaf is just like, let's snatch it. Hello there, welcome to Dr. HB's lab. Your number one stop for any weird gadgets. Hmm, it's been so boring lately, I wish there was some gossip at least. If you head down this path, you will reach the residential zone in the balcony. This ball is really cute, right? I look just like Mathiva. Let me go check out the residential area. If it's good to see you again, your performance was very pleasing. It would be great to have you at next year's festival. You can count on us. Only bees allowed past this point. Can you get us in then, V? Nope. Now <laughs> oh, you're good. The Bee Kingdom's quite fast and fantastic. Ah, uh, you think? The air is clean and the people are nice. There's a great view and good food. Think I'll stay here? No, I don't think I will. I will. I want to see what else the world has to offer. May we meet again, Explorer. May we meet again, indeed. Look, the golden sediment. Can't wait for next year's festival. You can see where we used to stay. Good old times. The Bay Kingdom was generous enough to let me conduct my research here. The least I can do is lend out the others my Elioscope. Give it a go with A. Um. Whoa. Intriguing. I'm kind of wondering if I can see secrets with this. There's something down there, but that, I feel like that's the bee factory, right? <laughs> bunk, bunk, bunk. That's Metal Island, I'm pretty dang sure. Right, whatever. Hey, Team Snake Mouth! Thanks again, we owe you for back in the desert. There was no problem, you would do the same for us. They would try at least. We'll make up for it, you'll see. Mm, hey, V, you're being real quiet. Oh, oh, uh, sorry, i just thinking. The hive is super cool. We have, uh, we have to come together when we're not on a job. Everyone's really nice and let us drink from the mountain for free. Uh, yeah, glad you like it. You really, you're ready to meet up? Shoot, we forgot. Uh, we'll see you there, Team Snake Mouth. Well, at least they're having fun. <laughs> v, what? If it's about earlier, drop it. I don't want to talk about it. Look at us, V. This is serious. You're mad over petty things. You're acting like a child. Seriously, that's what you want to tell me? We're not finished. Something may happen tomorrow, or even today, and then you won't be able to say sorry. Instead of acting so proud, won't you be happier if you fix things? V, Leaf is right. We never know what can happen. Friends are so precious to lose over nothing. What if she doesn't forgive me? I was really mean. If you really mean it, and show it, she'll forgive you. Your sisters. Fine, I'll try. Hmm, you're more mature than we expect. Shut up! We're on a mission now, but... When we have time, I'll try and apologize, okay? Are you happy now? You promise? I'll do it. I don't need to promise it like I'd like some kid. <laughs> Alright, V. We believe you. We hope it goes well. Life's too short to have dumb fights. Ah, uh, I feel tired now. Let's go find the other explorers, okay? A <laughs> bonk. Hey, how are you liking our wonderful hive? Have some honey, it's on me. Thank you, we won't forget this. So kind. Yeah, thanks. Wait, is that just... What does that do? I think that heals up my uh, my team points. My, I've always been a bit plain, but clothes uh, work... Uh... <laughs> but clothing works wonders, doesn't it? <laughs> 
Professor Honey, uh, Honeycomb and Dr. HB are, are the last bees from the older generation. They should manage to outlive even some of the new generation. Is this the power of science? Welcome, welcome. Masiva's famous accessories are on sale. They bring out the best of you. Doubtful. Ah, <laughs> she's here. Oh, <laughs> nah, nah, that's enough, Masiva, for all. Masiva! Ah, how can she be so popular while being such a jerk? Ignorance is bliss for this crowd. Um, Mothiva? More fans? Oh, ho, ho. What are you dorks doing here? Uh, sorry, show's over. I hope you'll join me in my next tour. <laughs> Thanks for ruining a perfectly good tour, jerks. You didn't do anything, and you're a jerk. Your mere presence here ruins my vibe, can't you tell? Maybe you can steal some of ours when we're not looking. Why you? Enough, we're not here to fight you. We have a mission. Can we cooperate? We need not hog the glory. If we work together, we will all be recognized. Ah, so naive. What good is fame when you share when you share with the likes of you? Let's just go to the darn meeting point. We can sell this later. <laughs> I'll go, but not by your barking. See if you don't keep me waiting too long. I guess has to go too, okay? Can't be, can't be bothered after seeing you three. What a jerk <laughs> I really don't get how no one sees it. It's a shame her defeat didn't humble her one bit. We have to be careful. Never know what they'll be planning. What is this? Welcome, welcome. You're eyeing that souvenir cap, aren't you? It's a perfect gift for Bee Kingdom lovers. And this one's on sale too. Only 40 barrels. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't have money. Oh boy. <laughs> I was wondering. Hmm. <laughs> I was wondering how long that was gonna last. Just my luck, Team Snake Mask. They've kept some nerf walking into the hive. Hmm. <laughs> Pipe down. I'm here to explore business just like you. Come to steal more credit, we assume? If you expect an apology, you won't get it. Hmm. <laughs> so you're proud of your action actions? I don't I don't operate on pride. I'm committed to my thief's rise to the top. We saw an opportunity and took it. It didn't work out, but it's not the end of the world. As you can see, even without the artifact, she's still respected. Who's gonna respect someone so petty? Bet they wouldn't even know, uh, they wouldn't if they knew the truth. V, we're not going to start badmouthing each other. It wouldn't matter, see if they'd believe some bumbling fools over the Great Mastiva. <laughs> Look, we don't care. Can you just move to the meeting point? That I can do. Business is business, after all. My interests are not petty banter with you three. Yeah, yeah, just go. Let's see if you must be waiting anyways. See you there. Okay, that should be everyone. Let's go to the meeting. Oh, ho, so dashing. Explorers are so interesting. Glasses? <laughs> Who is it? No, it's you. How's the ADBP been treating you? It's awesome. It really helped us out. <laughs> of course, my tools are the best there is. Um, we seem to have forgotten your name. Oh, hmm. All right, I'm Professor Honeycomb, renowned scientist of the Bee Kingdom. Or I was until that Dr. HP took my spot. HP's creation all used weird text he found studying the other roaches, you see. Disgusting. What I do, <laughs> Well, I do use Agent Crystal, the roaches didn't create them. I'd never use bar technology for my experiments. I create a perfect ADBP through my own superior intellect. What? The Beamerang isn't good enough yet? Yours is nothing special. It's just one of the many ADBP Mark II series. When I finish the Mark III, they will seem like children toys. What? Can't you upgrade mine again? I'd consider it if only because of the data you've helped me round up. If I manage to harness the crystal's energy into the prototypes, the ADBP will spin forever, generating infinite energy. That's... That's not how... Uh, that's not really... That's really not how physics work. And then I'd reclaim my spot as the Bee Kingdom's lead scientist. You have a noble goal, won't you? Let us help you in the name of science? Maybe later, but for now, be gone. You're getting in the way of my research. Hikes, fine. Let's come back later. It's <laughs> a lot of... Uh, I, did, I only just noticed that all of these piles of things are just boomerangs. <laughs> Outstanding. What is this? This path leads to the honey factory. Please watch your tap. Watch your tap? Yeah, sure. Watch your step. John's art is beautiful, but is art meant only to be pretty? We should explore our inner hideousness. Good luck getting someone to buy that portrait. 
At least wait until she draws it before judging. What the hell is this? Astral <laughs> Ah, yes. Would you like to save? Yes. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Seems only Kunai's left. Ah, oh, no, she gave us the part, so we're good to go. She's shameless, that's what she is. Then if these are all explorers, we shall open the throne room. Be on your best behavior, for even glancing upon our queen is a privilege. Oh, of course, Miss Guard. But <laughs> male or female, I I don't even... It doesn't matter. Adore. <laughs> we adore the queen and would never dream to upset her. <laughs> I gotta say, Mathiva. <laughs> Be silent and then go in. <laughs> My queen, the Ant Kingdom explorers have arrived. The doctor's here as well. Oh, adorable, aren't they? Welcome. I hope the hive has grown, uh, has shown great hospitality and kindness towards you. Yes, we are grateful, queen. Wait, who, who, who is, who is talking? Who is talking? Uh, oh, her. <laughs> Oh, most respected queen, your words humble our hearts. We are truly blessed to be in your presence. Ah, uh, yeah, it's nice to be back. Fee, is that you? You have grown so beautifully into a fine bee. Um, we have heard of your exploits here. You have brought pleasant surprise, uh, surprises to my days. That's great, V. Thank you, queen. The hive is wonderful. It makes me wish I was a bee. <laughs> now, we all have our wonderful place in this world. But now, the time for pleasantries is over, if you don't mind. Let us get to the matter at hand. HP? Yes, my queen! As we all know, the, grateful, the, the graceful Ant Queen has made a heavy request for, of our kind. The core of the honey factory, which we owe this great kingdom to, has turned out to be an artifact. Under normal circumstances, we would, uh, we would have to deny even the queen her request. However, she has provided us with all we need to build a new core. Right, Kina should have delivered them to the factory already. <laughs> yes, I've gone there and gave it a, a gave, a gave a quick examination. With my incredible intellect, I can quickly create a suitable replacement, all due the all due to these materials' incredible quality. It's quite a simple ordeal, isn't it? Almost feels like we've gone through a bit too many formalities. Never, Your Majesty. There is no request. Uh, we would not acquiesce for thee. <laughs> if you are true to your words, that would make me most happy. For I would like to invite you to accompany the doctor to the honey factory and witness this pivotal ch exchange. You are not obliged to go, but it would warm our heart if you did. Yes, yes! <laughs> My god. <laughs> sure thing, we would love to see even more of the kingdom. Yes, for one, seeing honey being produced sounds delicious. Leaf, you are not going to eat any of it. Um, thanks, we'll go. Fee. Queen. Contrary to what I believed, it seems the outside world did you some good. You look so grown up. Your team has my thanks. Ah, um, you're welcome, Queen. I haven't changed at all. I'm the same V. A mother knows best. Maybe you've yet to notice. Well, shall we go? The Queen is speaking. Shut your mouth. <laughs> no need to be so ruthless, my dear guards. But you are indeed free to go into the factory. It's to the west of my throne's uh, entrance. V, please take care of everyone as they explore. As sure as I am that there will be no issues. Yeah, I will. You can count me. Dismissed. <sighs> Let's go, Zasp. About time. Now, teams. I still have to pick up some tools, so meet up there. Don't let the wind blow you off on the bridge. Cheers, V. <gasps> I made bees seem so mean when you have a graceful queen like that. Even we are disarmed by our, <laughs> disarmed by our words. They remind us of Elizant. I was mad at everyone, okay? Even so, you shouldn't have badmouthed them. Fine, I'm sorry, okay, and I'll I'll fix stuff slowly. Can we just do the, the mission? All right, let's go, team. Let us go, indeed. You know, in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode of this episode. I was playing Bug Fables: The Everlasting Sapling. In the next episode, we're going to go into uh, the factory. Right.